pumpkins. It's so nice to see you today. Welcome back to my channel and welcome for the very first time if you're new. Today we are going to make some fancy Halloween centerpieces. I know I'm not in my normal habitat. I'm out here on my porch since we will be using spray paint today. So we don't want to get any spray paint inside the house or be inhaling those fumes too hard. So that's why we are outside. Bear with me if we have any motors rumbling by because I'm right here on the porch. So jumping right into it, today's DIY craft is we're making... So all you need for today's craft is three empty wine bottles. They can be whatever size or shape that you want. And uh, three colors of spray paint. I've got orange, which is actually candy corn colored. So matte white and sunshine yellow. And then once these are dry, we have some beautiful vase fillers to make them even more ornate. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me so that way you'll never miss an upload and you'll always be here with me for each and every DIY craft that we do. <laughs> So to get started, uh, as you can see, I was able to peel off the label on this little bottle. Uh, this bottle is actually just plastic that they have over, over this cat shaped bottle, but I like it so I'm just going to leave it. And then I had the most trouble in the world trying to get this label off this bottle. So after a week of soaking this bottle in hot soapy water, I mean it wasn't hot the whole week, but I was just trying to scrape it off with my nails and just not a lot of luck so I decided to go with the more rustic look so we're just going to spray paint over. Come on. Sounds good. I want to know more of Alright, I got um, all of my spray paint supplies. I got these all at Michael's Crafts. Oh my god, I am sweating. I am sweating, y'all. I'll have you know. I got uh, some clothing that I don't mind if I get paint on. And I put down a drop cloth since I don't want to get spray paint on the wood. On this porch. On this porch. On this porch. To start out, we're going to use our white spray paint to give a base coat to all of these bottles. Make sure to give a good shake. Shake that spray paint up. Whatever. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that way you never miss an upload. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your body. Uh, uh, uh. You know what song is. So let's start with this little one. So nice. This was a little bottle of Prosecco, I think. And this is why we're on a drop cloth. That looks good to me. Look at that. All right, we got our first layer. Oh, my fingers stuck. All right, let's get down to bottle number two. That technique of holding it with the finger seemed to work really well. I forgot how much finger strength you need to press these down. So we'll start with the face of the kitty. Perfections. Spray paint fumes clear. <laughs> we'll let them in a ventilated area. Alright, so in candy corn, you got the white on the top, orange in the middle, and then yellow on the bottom. So we're gonna start with uh, this one, and we're gonna spray paint the lower two thirds of it orange. Uh, for whatever reason, that just didn't record me painting the, the second layer. Ugh, that sucks that that didn't record. But I went ahead and did, but this orange ended up being darker, so that's why I decided to do two-thirds yellow, and then we'll just spray paint orange across the middle of the cat bottle in the little bottle, since I am worried that the yellow will not show up on this. Ugh, 
I'm sorry, it didn't record. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Please subscribe anyway. Fun around, camera looks good. We're not gonna miss that again. Right here, we're doing the last one. So orange is our middle color. Let's take the shell. Let's see if we can coat over. Well, I'll be darned. Look at that, it coats just fine. So let's get this bottom bit of a ball. Ta-da, look at our beautiful candy corn ombre bottle. Woo! I'm actually really happy with that. So let's do the opposite. With these bottles, we get the orange in the middle there. Ooh, looks good to me. I got a candy corn kitten. Just a few bubbles, but it's fine. Ta-da! Look at that. We got our three candy corn ombre bottles. Look at them. They look so nice. All right, so we're going to let these dry uh, one more time, 10 more minutes, and then I'm going to bring everything inside and we're going to get started with the uh, like floral pieces I got to put inside of them to make them look a little more haunting, if you will. All right, we are back inside now. Wahoo, finally out of the heat. How's my makeup look? Did I sweat it all off? No, nope, looks good. Looks extra dramatic this close up. Well, we done did it, y'all. We got our three ombre bottles. They're a little textured, but that's okay. I don't know how to fix it anyway, so it is what it is, and doesn't it look nice? All right, so for the last thing we're gonna do to make these bottles look super fancy, is we're gonna put some decorations in them. Ooh, doesn't it just class up the joint a bit? <laughs> so I've got some lovely things from Michael's Crafts to spruce up these bottles to make them look a little more, you yeah, know, festive. So I've got some that look like Venus fly traps, uh, just some black flowers, and this is actually a fake eucalyptus, and just some red colored berries, it's all pretty spooky looking. So we're gonna make these all fit. So I'll probably have to trim them a little bit. So I've got some scissors, hopefully it's that easy since they are made out of plastic. so much for watching the entire way through of me making these lovely DIY candy corn ornate center pieces with some you know stuff in it so once again I'm T-Ray my channel is Sunshine Party I hope to see y'all soon make sure you subscribe and like and share this video for with all your other spooky crafting friends and I'll see you next time for the next DIY craft redo until then bye